Kenny Green, raw perspective, concrete and steel. Like keeping the people informed. And look, man, hit them subscribes and the likes, man, because we like talking about some real life situations, man. I caught my man a few times this week. He didn't respond. I said, let me ride down on him, right? He uh, was terminated, laid off, whatever term they use in the you know corporate job world. He worked at this company for 17 years. And he went into the office. His cold key wasn't working. They called him in and they said, today is your last day. Now that's some shock and awe. He couldn't believe it. So after 17 years, I guess he has his 401k, whatever, he, you know, he built up in his, um, the social security um, stuff and stuff like that. Most of the things he was saying is he couldn't believe that they did this to him. And I don't know why he thought he was so special. I really, I, you know, I really don't know why he felt he was so special to these people. Because they invite you to the Christmas party and, you know, they, they give you special assignments. It's still their world and what they're trying to achieve. It really don't have nothing to do with you. You're just a pawn in the chess game that they're trying to implement to do their next thing. Even if you at the job, you understand? This is what the attitude you have to have. When you go to work for them, you better come home and go to work for yourself. Otherwise, you'll look up like my man, 17, 15, 20 years in. And when they decide it's over, it's over. You know, so I was asking them, right? I said, well, after all that time, they could just like lay you off. So he said, I'm not laid off. I was terminated. So I asked him to explain what the difference was because I don't, I don't really know. I sincerely don't know. I mean, so I guess being laid off, it wasn't like you was terminated, but it just still don't make sense to me. But I think he was saying with one, you can get unemployment and the other, you can't, whatever. It just don't make no sense. And the, the thing is, we lean so much on these jobs. And whenever they decide that something's going to change, it just, it, it does just that. And there's no recourse. You know, he's 56 years old. What happens now? At 56, after 17 year employment, what do you do now? Do you have a special skill set? that you could offer to another agency. Over the years, cause this is my man, we went to school together, right? And over the years I was telling him, you know, get down with me, let's try to do some things. But he really was loyal to his job. And, and, and I, that's not a bad thing, you know? It's, and I'm not saying it, it's just that I never partake in the employment game. I always wanted to be an independent. So I did things a little different and, um. I was willing to take a chance on myself at an early age. And that's the thing a lot of people um, are not willing to do. And like I said, it's not a good thing. It's not a bad thing, but you have to know who you are as a person because taking a chance on yourself, there's responsibility, accountability that you have to live in. And a lot of people, when it comes to handling their business on the level of business where you have to keep everything going so that everything gets paid and you don't run out of money they're not going to be accountable for that for that level when i was a younger man right the internet didn't exist a lot of opportunities because either you was working in one of those corporate places in the mail room or you was doing messenger work or uh maybe you got civil service now with the internet and different things, there's so many different opportunities. That's why the young people are saying they're not going to do that. They're doing and they're putting experiences in front of a lot of things. You know what I mean? They're putting their experiences in front of a lot of things. They are not willing to trade all their time for money or for a so-called future that they feel people keep moving it around. You know what I'm saying? They saying that we're going to get out with now, you know? So everything is about planning your life, staying disciplined with the plan and gradually, because trust me, compounding interest is real. 
and having assets that appreciate over time is real. Whether you're working a job, whether you're hustling, whether you're doing entrepreneur, whatever you're doing, remember that. You can't do nothing and expect something concrete and still.